Okay, so recently a lot of you have been asking about the secrets behind mudras, where to put your fingers during meditation, what are all these benefits? By the way, you can activate so many different energy points in your body just by the way you place your hands, for those of you who aren't familiar with mudras. Now, because of this like high demand I've been getting from you guys and a lot of the comments for a long, long time now, I decided to put this video together. However, I wanna say this, what my masters taught me is that you do not really have any need to learn them all because there are so many of them and most of them you will never actually use. But it's interesting how people are in this world because we always want to know a lot more when we don't actually use that information because the simple things we do not even practice enough. So I'm just gonna give you these basics and it'll give you a nice understanding and the fundamentals behind it. And if you guys actually start practicing it and you want to learn more, then you comment below and then I'll create more videos going a little bit deeper week by week for you. Okay, so the first thing to understand is this. When it comes to um, these, these, the, the, these hands here, every part of it from the top to this this place, to this place, to this place, up and down makes a huge difference, okay? So we're gonna start from the absolute, absolute basics here. Understand these five points and what energies they are connected to and which part of the body, okay? So if we understand the elements first, this one here, I'm gonna teach you in a fun way how um, my teacher taught me, okay? so. This one here, if you look at this, okay? And I don't know why, I just find it funny and I think you'll remember it if you find it funny too, okay? An Indian guy told me that you can take uh, people in India apparently, when they do this, this is the sign that I need the toilet. Is it? <laughs> I know a lot of you are gonna say, no, you don't do that. But for some reason, this Indian guy told me that's when th they give this sign when they need the toilet. So this link to toilet now, right, is, for water, so this is the water element, right? This finger is the water element. Now, this finger here, this finger, I need to be careful with these finger gestures here. <laughs> this finger here, right, is our marriage, right? The wedding ring. So this, always remember marriage, this one, okay, is our connection, right? So what is that? That's earth. So this one's for grounding for earth, this one here, okay? That's the second one. Now this middle one, I won't, I'll put up this way, <laughs> yeah. So this middle one here is the tallest one. The tallest one is closest to space. So this one is for space, environment. So this one's the one for space, right? The space around us. Now, then this one here, if we tell people to shh, that is the one that's linked to air, shh, right? So that's air there. And then you've got one left, and the one left that we're missing right now is the fire. So this is how to understand the five ones, okay? Just to do a quick recap with you guys, can you remember? First one, <laughs> you've forgotten them, you? <laughs> Toilet, water, this one's water. Second one, connection, earth, so this one's earth. Third one, tallest one, right? Space, space, right? Tallest one, closest to space, so this is space. This one, shh. <laughs> air, so this one's air. And this final one, the remainder one is fire. Now, going on from there, we're not gonna go into all the different, because what you need to understand is when you do this, when you do this, when you do this, all of this is like fine tuning. It's almost like frets on a guitar. It can be one note, one string, right? It's one note. However, it's different frets is a total different tone. It's a total different effect it has on your body and your surroundings and your energies. So we need to understand there's a lot of intricacy in understanding where you touch the hand, okay? Now, to give you the second part of the basics so you get a bit, a bit of understanding is when are you using these things? It's not just in meditation. You can actually be like, let's say for example, hiking. For example, I just came back from the Himalayan mountains with my master. And when we're hiking and you get really, really tired, really, really tired, and you don't, like, you can't catch your breath, then what do you do? Especially in high altitude, you can go into prana mudra. So prana mudra, 
is when you take the two, you put it down, right? This is prana, pra, prana mudra. So what it means is this will help breathing. <laughs> now, some of you will be looking at that and thinking, how does that work? Next time, if you're ever going on a hike or you're totally out of breath and you can't breathe properly, or those of you with any like uh, asthma problems, right? You can try this. Next time you have breathing problems, all you do, hold two fingers down, hold it down this way, right? And breathe. Now that also has a slightly different effect to this, but they are both prana mudras. We're not gonna go into too much, otherwise you're gonna get too, com you're gonna get too confused here, okay? So try it next time. If you're out of breath, you can do this one, okay? There's different ones for, there's different ones for fever, all these different things, okay? But we'll go one at a time. Now, the basics of it is probably the majority of the time you're gonna be using it during uh, meditation. And some of you will have seen people hold their hands like this, like this, like this, like this, all these different things, right? Now, so just to give you a very simple understanding of it. First of all, when we sit with our legs crossed, spine erect, that is our channel, right? That's our channel. So if we sit and you see a lot of people, they do this, right? This one, this chin mudra here, what it does is very simple. You just touch, lightly touch, not pressing hard, not here, not here, not here. It's just touching, right? And then the other three fingers connected just together like this. And you just rest it. You put it out like this. What this mudra does, right? And by the way, just a very simple thing as well. Upwards hands, upwards palms, means you are downloading taking energy externally, right? When you are, have your palms down, facing down, it means that you are keeping things internally. For example, if you wanna calm the mind, palms down will help. By the way, the two breath, when you breathe like this and you breathe like this is also different. There's so, so much science towards it, but I'm not gonna confuse you. Like I said, let's keep it simple for now. So a lot of the time when you just wanna be at peace, your own space and you wanna internalize, Put your palms facing down. If you're there to actually receive, palms facing up, okay? So that's the two differences. Now, so when we do this, like this, what, what it does is we, it helps us redirect our energy, right? This helps us redirect our energy flow. It also helps um, improve our concentration level. So for example, if we wanna really, really focus on something right now, right? Where we got to study or whatever you're doing right now, if you do that, that will help you concentrate and focus on that one thing, okay? Now, another thing it does, if you're into cha chakras, now I haven't made a video on chakras yet. If you want to learn more about chakras, maybe I make another video separately. If there's enough demand, you type it below. If you wanna learn about chakras, then I'll do another one explaining all the chakras and how to open them up, okay? But this one, what this mudra actually does, also it helps stimulate energy flow at the base chakra, okay, at the base chakra. The base chakra is the, the root chakra, right? That chakra is important for what? It's important for grounding, it's important for stability, confidence. If you imagine it like that, that's, that's the base, that's the root. So let's say, for example, sometimes you feel like not here, not there, or sometimes you've been flying or traveling and you got a little bit, I don't know, all over the place, and you wanna just ground yourself, it's very important to work on the root chakra so you can just by holding this mudra it also stimulates the energy there and helps obviously sitting straight and everything else does too okay so that's the basics of it now if you were to take the hands and then you were to hold here and put it down now that's a different mudra right now when you put it down this way it internalizes so it changes slightly but like i said these are the five basic elements you need to understand and It'll get you started, at least understanding it. But if you are practicing meditation, let me just give you a tip here, right? If, especially in the beginning stages, don't overcomplicate it. Palms facing up, breathe. Nothingness, get into your own element, connect, right? Practice, breathe. That's all, just practice simple. This stuff I'm teaching because a lot of you are asking for it. However, let me tell you something, most of you will never use any of the hundreds or thousands of different mudras and energy points, you know? So just keep it simple. You can try this if you wanna concentrate, focus. You can try this if you, if you wanna be breathing better, try it. 
and then just notice the subtle difference in energies. And yeah, I guess that's it. Other than that, get breathing. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this video or it's been of any use to you whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. It's always nice to know. By the way, I'm doing like a tour, a world tour soon. So inside the description, you get to see where the events are. I've got one coming up in London. I got um, uh, LA in March. We've got Taiwan in two months time. So if you wanna um, come to the events, join us there. It's like three day transformational events. So I, I teach for three whole days. Um, all about mind, all about strategies, all about this whole energy stuff. So if you're interested in that stuff, then make sure to join us. It'll be nice to actually see you guys face to face at one of our events. Other than that, guys, um, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, <laughs> ciao.